We are headed to a haunted island in northern Minnesota. The locals say it is filled with ghosts and other supernatural aberrations. We will use our technology and experience to determine if this island truly is haunted. All of this and more on tonight's episode of Ghost Squad. The island we're headed for used to be the most popular makeout spot north of St. Paul. But nobody comes out here anymore because of all the ghosts. You see, long ago this was the home of the Manichek Native American tribe. They lived here peacefully for hundreds of years until the white settlers arrived wanting to build an insane asylum. After a day or two of failed negotiations, the settlers attacked, wiping out the entire tribe in a matter of hours. Men, women, Children, buffaloes, all murdered in their sleep. They say at night, if you listen closely, you can still hear the screams. <coughs> With the tribe gone, work on the asylum began. But there was a rock shortage that year. So they dug up the burial grounds and crushed the human bones for their cement. <laughs> and. While pouring the foundation, several Chinese immigrant workers were buried alive within it. The insane asylum was finished in 1890 and business was booming. Back in those days, <laughs> you'd be considered insane for just about anything. Pregnancy, poverty, toothache, you name it. Drunk with power, the staff of the asylum began practicing satanic witchcraft in the basement using the inmates as human sacrifices. But it all ended one night during a gruesome ritual. The victim's intestines had just been removed and they kicked over a candle made of human earwax with their one remaining leg. A fire broke out, killing everyone inside the asylum, workers and victims alike. Perhaps that's why this place is haunted. It has been many years since we last hunted for evidence of the spiritual afterlife. Within that six year period, I estimate over 35 million new ghosts have been created because of natural human death. I sense that it's really great to be back in an environment where nobody judges you for wearing a glove that shields them from your dangerous psychic hand. This is such a waste of my time. I could be online playing video games. Whatever's on that island better be good. Uh, I was too busy texting to listen to the groundkeeper's story. What's going on again? Are you city folks gonna be okay out here on the island all by yourself? This is nothing we have not encountered before. We came prepared. We will be fine. Well, you best be believing in haunted islands. Cause you're on one! <laughs> Jones, did you get all the camera equipment set up? Yeah, came out here 12 hours ago in a rubber rowboat, set up cameras all over the island. Can I quit now? Not yet. We need you to sit here all night in the freezing cold without food or water and monitor all of these camera feeds for anything paranormal. Very well. Allison. Follow your spirit guide and use your psychic hand to feel for any apparitional discrepancies in the aura of the forest. It's all in the wrist. Also, Jones, I need you to make a map accurate to within 0.5 meters of the entire island so we can locate the missing insane asylum. Jesus, fine. Tiffany is already at work doing what she does best, walking around in the dark, getting scared. Jones, one more thing. I need you to search the forest for edible plants and catalog them alphabetically by color in case we get marooned here and have to survive. Uh. Let's go. Did 
the equipment set up and running, we began the search of the island. We split up into two teams, myself and Allison, and Jones with Tiffany. So, I was busy being, you know, like, the most important member of the team and all, when I came across something totally gross. Oh my god, like, what is that doing there? I put both of my kids through college with that thing. What the hell are you doing? There might be some change in it. Ghost hunting is finally gonna pay off. At first, my psychic hand was telling me to go left. But then the spirit winds, they were telling me to go right. And then it was my hand and the winds and back and forth for a pretty long time. It's a good thing we were outside or else I might not have been able to feel the spirit winds at all. Is there anyone here? that wants to communicate. I want to get you on EVP. EVP stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon and is one of the many ways we can record voices from beyond the grave. But mostly we just get static. This completely normal tape recorder that I got at Goodwill for $5 has the ability to record your unnatural, unearthly, disembodied voice onto a magnetic tape medium. It only works with magnetic tapes. It does not work with modern flash storage. Speak to me now. Make your voice heard. Do not be crushed by the unbearing sadness of eternity. I should probably shut up and let it talk. Hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Oh well, I can simply make Jones listen to all these hours of static recordings later on. Hmm. Hey, be careful! Sorry, I was following the psychic winds. Also, I was scared by a mouse. You just bumped into my prototype ghost grenade. If it goes off, anything within a five meter radius will be sucked into the netherworld of ghosts. You're saying it's a ghost grenade? That's right. Yeah, one of our glorified webcams just bit the dust. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, good as new. Ugh, man, these really go through ya. <sighs> Best part of my day. What are you doing? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, come in team, over. Uh, I just pissed on a homeless guy, apparently. Copy that. We will be right there. I'm not homeless. This island is my home. I live here. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry about pissing on you. Shake and call it even? You didn't even wash your hands! I never do. You guys are on this island all alone? Are you insane? We are here investigating the spirits of the afterlife and documenting them for posterity. Ghosts, huh? I've got something to show you then. Follow me. We decided to follow the urine-soaked crazy man to the haunted shrine. Coincidentally, the spirit wind was blowing in that direction. I think the ghost outbreak has something to do with this altar. There used to be three rocks sitting on it. I sense that two are missing. Exactly. And if you find and bring them back, it could return things to normal. 
So, for some reason, we decided to take the advice of a crazy man we just met and split up and go off into the woods looking for some magic rocks. Nobody else has a problem with this? Why do I always get teamed up with you, Jones? We, like, totally don't click. Tell me about it. I'm only here so I can, like, get famous and go to Hollywood and forget about you all. Good. Wait, there's something following us. We had, like, no idea what could be following us. It sounded like a snake. Or maybe it was like a moose or something. Jones, I'm almost scared enough to hold your hand, but I won't. Hi. <laughs> I hope I didn't scare you. I'm kind of a ghost. Oh my god, I like totally have to get a selfie for Instagram. There's no time for Instagram. In fact, there's never a time for Instagram. The whole website should be destroyed, along with Pinterest. Well, maybe this cute little guy knows where the rocks are or something. Did you say sacred stones? I know exactly where they are, because I'm all alone with nothing else to do with eternity than wander around this island all by myself. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> My psychic hand is tingling. That means that something supernatural is nearby, or I fell asleep on my arm. How can you feel anything through that glove? My psychic hand has become so powerful that this protective glove is the only thing keeping you alive. There's something of great importance this way. We've reached the threshold of the spirit field. What the hell does that mean? It means this is as far as I can take you. You can see one of the sacred rocks from here. Let's just like totes go get it. Stop! The rocks are protected by a great evil. Beyond this point, you must tread lightly. Even the smallest breath could alert. Toothless Papa! Toothless Papa? Who came up with that stupid name? I, I, I don't think it's stupid. Oh, you came up with it, didn't you, loser? You are mean. <laughs> At least I'm not dead. <sighs> Let me guess, I have to go get it? Seriously? This is like the one thing I'm good at. This one time, Ben drank a bunch of spotted cow and farted, and guess who held their breath the longest? That's right, me. It was great. She stopped talking for a few seconds. I just kept saying to myself, pretend Ben farted, pretend Ben farted, pretend Ben farted. No probs. I totally got to the rocks. Once I got there though, that's when a prob came up. There were like three rocks and I totally didn't know which one to choose. It's the one in the f***ing skeleton hand. You've got mail. Crap. Run! I warned you about him! I'm out of here! Jones, help! I'm stuck! And I accidentally breathed. <sighs> 
So you're really good at holding your breath, huh? What is this place? I sense that it's all that remains of the asylum's foundation. I can tell by the bone fragments. Also, my eyeballs sense that some of the basement is still intact. The same basement where the evil rituals took place. If I were a haunted magical sacred stone, that's where I would be hiding. One of us has to go down there. I sense I'm not it. Very well, but tie that rope around me in case I get into trouble. According to the movie Poltergeist and the 2016 reboot of Ghostbusters, tying a flimsy, organic, fair trade, grass-fed, zero-carbon footprint rope around somebody's waist is the best way to pull them out of an interdimensional vortex. When I've got the stone, I'll give you two sharp tugs to pull me out. Two sharp tugs, got it. Don't worry about it. In addition to being a psychic, I'm also into CrossFit, so I'm super strong and really ready for this. Functional fitness. I have eyes on the stone. Over. I sense you should be careful. Over. Thank you for removing that heavy stone. Oh no. You can't imagine how long I've been sitting here waiting for a good Samaritan to come along and free my voice. Um, you're welcome. Good goodness. I can sing again. Beep blop bleep bloop a doo boo. Oh, I used to sing during all the torture rituals. That's great. Where did you come from? This box is possessed by the souls of all the trees who were mercilessly cut down to construct it. You may call me Spruce. Spruce Springsteen! Oh, for Christ's sake. I have to be leaving now. Please, stay a while. Stay forever! That was only one really sharp tug, so he's probably okay. Spruce Springsteen will never let you leave his cave. You cannot get away from me. This is a lot more difficult than flipping over tires. But a really great workout. I knew I had to do something before I got sucked into that box. <laughs> Spruce Springsteen is ready. Oh no! I made it. Team Alpha, we have the stone. Copy that. Remarkably, Tiffany found one too. Great. Have Tiffany meet us at the altar so we can end this. <laughs> Whoa.
What is going on here? You fools! Those stones weren't meant to keep the spirits away. They're meant to keep them here. I built this altar, then sacrificed myself upon it to bring the insane asylum's head doctor back to life in spirit form. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right! I'm really a ghost! <gasps> So that is why he would not shake Jones's hand. It was not just the urine. And like, being a ghost made up of vapor and stuff, he like, couldn't pick up and move the rocks himself. I knew it all along. My powers were diminished after some drunken kids scattered the stones so that they could have sex on that altar. But now, thanks to your help, I am unstoppable. <laughs> Time to die! We've, like, totally got to get those stones off the altar! We cannot penetrate the psychic barrier, unless... Allison! She can, like, use her psychic hand! It's beyond my control! That's why I've kept it in this protective glove the last six years. I haven't even washed it. You must! I accidentally petted a kitten once and I didn't know the, the power of my psychic ability! Uh, like, nobody cares! Before I knew it, the kitten was dead. I I had to hide away my powers. Also, some people died. Just like, do it already! The doctor will see you now. <laughs> Oh, my young ghost hunters, you will die. <laughs> oh, the lightning attack? I learned that well in medical school. <laughs> you best start believing in ghosts. I am one. This is happening, because we are Ghost Squad. I can't go back to the afterlife, man! Did anyone get that on camera? Power vested in these three stones is too great. We must make sure they do not fall into the wrong hands, causing this catastrophe to happen again. That should do it. It's the Ghost Squad They're saving the day for the second time Don't you know this is only part two Ooh. Only part two